welcome to the Reconnection Club podcast, the show that helps parents heal troubled relationships with their adult sons and daughters. I'm your host, psychotherapist Tina Gilbertson. Each week, I'll offer you compassion, clarity, and personal development tips designed to help you reconnect not only with your child, but with yourself. Now let's get started. This is the 100th episode of the Reconnection Club podcast, so I want to take just a moment to say thank you for listening to the show. If you've spoken to me or written to me about the show, or if you've shared it with others, I appreciate that feedback. You are the reason I do this, so thank you so much for supporting the show. Now, I don't have anything extra special for the 100th episode, but I recently heard something that I thought might be interesting to discuss, and it has to do with the assumptions that we sometimes make when we don't know for sure what's going on. Specifically, I heard a parent speculate that their estranged adult child was keeping up a facade and didn't want parents to know that they were having a hard time, and the parent figured that that's why their child wasn't reaching out to them to ask for help or to talk about the trouble they were having. Now, this parent might have been entirely correct in that assessment. I don't want to suggest that there's no way that that could be true, but I'd like to do a little bit of exploring of alternative or additional possibilities. That they're keeping up a facade is a logical possibility when your child appears to need help but refuses to ask, or if he seems to be struggling but won't admit it. This is especially true if an adult child has a history of being concerned with how he looks to the rest of the family. And that in itself might raise some questions for you, since family is ideally a place where we can all let our hair down and just be ourselves. So if your child has a history of putting on a show to control how you see her, I would wonder if, for whatever reason, your child maybe didn't have the same perception of belonging or acceptance as other family members. That can be territory worth exploring if your child has become estranged. There's a lot that you and other family members can do to make sure that your love for that person doesn't get lost in translation, even if that has happened in the past. Usually you can figure out new ways to express your love in a language your child can understand. But if your estranged adult child doesn't have that kind of history in the family, of paying keen attention to how he comes across compared to other family members, then the idea that he isn't reaching out to you for help because he doesn't want you to know he needs help, well, I guess the next question is, what do you make of the fact that he doesn't want you to know that he needs help? Why doesn't he want to share that? What we know from estrangement research is that if someone is refusing to contact their parents, it usually means the relationship between them is troubled in some way. It's not usually just that the person is controlling their reputation. Whatever trouble is in the relationship, it may be very mild, as in, I love you, but I need more space. Or the trouble may be deeper, with roots in the interactions between you. Or it may be complicated, with relational trouble compounded by your child's drive toward greater autonomy. But whatever it is, let's assume that there's some degree of trouble in the relationship, and that's why your child isn't reaching out even if he needs help. It might seem like estrangement could or should be put aside if your child runs into problems that she could use your help with. It's frustrating and scary as a parent, and also sad, to know or suspect that your child needs help but isn't reaching out to you. As a parent, you're wired to want to help your child. But for an adult child, estrangement isn't like a board game that you can get up and walk away from when the doorbell rings. It's more like a second skin that goes with you everywhere, and you can't just take it off and put it on again easily. And so if she is having a hard time, it's not a simple matter to reach out to you. Even if you could be super helpful, the fact is she's estranged right now, and so options that would normally be on the table 
are not on the table, including reaching out to you. Here are a couple of estrangement-related reasons why an adult child who needs help might not reach out to parents. Number one, because of the problems he's having right now that are driving his need for help, he doesn't have the energy to deal with a troubled relationship at the same time. So even if he knows that good quality help is available from you, the tension in your relationship overshadows the value of that help. Just like you and me, your child has only so much mental and emotional bandwidth to deal with day-to-day difficulties. Reason number two. In some cases, the adult child may believe that what she'll get if she does reach out won't be helpful. She may expect what feels to her like an endless list of questions that she's not prepared to answer. Or he might anticipate an argument about how you will help. Or maybe she's afraid of receiving what feels to her like criticism or judgment instead of the support she's seeking. Because none of that will make the situation better, your child might have decided not to ask for help or even to let you in on what's going on. Remember, just as well as you know your child, your child thinks he knows you, including how you will react to the situation he's in or his request for help. If he's decided already that he won't get what he needs, he's not likely to reach out. It's not about putting up a facade. He's just being practical. Reason number three why they don't reach out. And finally, here's some good news. Your child may have support and resources that you don't know about or know the extent of. I realize it's frightening to think that she might be in trouble and because of the estrangement, refuse to call you when she really does need help. I've met parents who were concerned about an adult child having no place to live. They felt utterly helpless because the child refused to move back in with them, and you can imagine their fear and concern when they thought their child might end up sleeping on the street. In the case that I'm recalling, it turned out that their child had plenty of friends and places to stay, and eventually got a decent place with a roommate. Maybe your child is leaning on other resources as well. If you think that's not likely... Remember there was a time when nobody thought there was any such animal as a black swan. Everyone knew that swans were white, right up until the day that somebody discovered a black one. Always assume there's at least one black swan in any uncertain situation. It will help you to remember that you don't have all the responsibility or control to fix things. There are usually possibilities you can't see. Those are three reasons that relate to estrangement that can keep struggling adult children from reaching out to their parents for help. One, they don't want to have to navigate a tense relationship while dealing with whatever else is stressing them at the moment. Two, they may anticipate that help will be too costly emotionally. And three, maybe because of the first two reasons, they're making use of other available resources. I hope that colors in some of the lines around why estranged adult children don't reach out when they need help. There are reasons, beyond keeping up a facade, that might be in play. But you know, if it turns out to be true that your child just doesn't want you to know he's struggling because he wants to appear independent or competent or mature, well, maybe there's nothing wrong with that. If adult children feel the need to prove themselves, that doesn't seem so maladaptive. Facing challenges without running to our parents is, for many of us, part of being an adult. It distinguishes us from the children we once were. So even though it's hard to watch adult children struggle or suspect that they're struggling and do nothing to help them, maybe this is a necessary passage for both of you. For them, it may be part of their transition to adulthood. And for you, you're transitioning to parenting an adult rather than a child in need of regular help and guidance. To me, it's not clear whose transition is more challenging, but I'm rooting for both of you. Until next time, remember that you are a loving, lovable, 
and still growing human being. So please take good care of yourself. Bye for now. If you've enjoyed this episode of the Reconnection Club podcast, I invite you to check out ReconnectionClub.com. The Reconnection Club is for parents at any stage of estrangement from their adult, child, or children. So whether you've just realized there's trouble between you, you've been living with estrangement for years, or you're newly reconciled but still walking on eggshells, the Reconnection Club is your essential resource for information, support, and continued personal growth. With our courses and workshops, expert interviews, monthly Q&A calls, and a friendly, active community, the Reconnection Club is a wonderful place to be for anyone suffering the pain of estrangement from an adult, child, or children. So check it out at ReconnectionClub.com. Reconnection Club.